short crowd otters and this is the smallest species of otter in the world. They are native to Southeast Asia. And this egg spit represents the riverbank, one of their natural habitat. Otters, they can live in fresh water, wetland and lakes. But only two otters which lives in the sea, that is the smaller marine otter and the sea otter which lives in the Pacific Ocean. So we have our beautiful two otters, they are both female, and one is Mik Mik, another one is Mukmuk. Muk. So if you observe them clearly, you will start to observe few things which are very unique about those beautiful animals. Here we are feeding them with therapia, and we are feeding them four to five times a day. That is like 380 to 460 grams per day. So over here, what she's trying to do, not only to make these animals to play, but they help to check their body. If they have any problem with the skin, they can even give them supplements for their health. So if you look at their head, they have long whiskers. These are very long and stiff, which helps them to look for food easily in water areas. And also they have the crows. They can use them to get things in the muddy areas very easily. And also they use the float poles to sense food, which they cannot see or smell. So otters, they can be found in any continent apart from Australia and Antarctica. So do you think these animals, they are mammals or reptiles? Why they live in water and you don't see them getting hypothermia? So if you look at their fur, it's like a well, it's like a built dry suit which keeps their body waterproofed, helping them to make their body very dry. So that is what helps them. And if you look at the tail, it's like half of their body length. This one gives them encounter balance whether they are standing on their hidden legs and also help them to swim well in water. So otters, they can live up to 12 years in the wild and they can live up to 20 years if we take good care of them under human care. Since they live in water, they are carnivores, so they find most of their food inside water. So these beautiful animals, they are skilled hunters. Surely they never miss a meal. As you can see, if they throw food, they will look for it until they get it. So these beautiful animals, they are considered as masters of communication. Vocalization to date, 12 distinct sounds have been recognized, and one in particular allows them to share their readiness to reproduce, and that comes from the base of their chicka tail. Otters, they reach their sexual maturity at just one and a half years, and their gestation period is 68 to 72 days. And once the pups alive, the entire family pitches in to take care of the babies. So ladies and gentlemen, as you see these beautiful animals, they are not here to entertain us, but to send a message to us that their population is decreasing day by day due to human activities we do. Pollution, hunting them for fun, and also habitat loss. So everybody, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Sisi, and if you have any question about them, feel free to ask me. They have names. One is Mik Mik, another one is Moko. But to send a message to her.